morning guys and this is coding with gotham and guys today we will be doing lesson three of unit seven parameters and return practice of apcsp ap computer science principles so on code.org so let's start right so basically we're learning about parameters and returns and you need to choose basically one we're choosing the rom and radar okay so basically what this app does is when you click run it um basically tells you to you can choose a place like the uk you can choose what type and you can choose the stars and also this is wrong so like i could go to for south korea the style is um box and five stars so yeah there are 84 varieties of ramen in the box style with an average rating of 9.6 stars. And then also, they also have this here, which can help you like increase the text size if you need to read. So let's build this app. So let's start here. So on the parameters of return. So first, let's go to step one. Step one, basically, you have to create a function for the adjust font size. So what do we do here? First, you have to understand that what this function does is when you run it, it basically, oh wait, so basically what you do when you run it is it basically increases the font size. So right now we have the original font size and the multiplier. So this function is simple. We do not need to define the original size or the multiplier. So all we do is we multiply the original size by the multiplier and remake and, re and reinstate the original size as the new one. And then you return the new original size. So that's basically it. simple. Now let's go on to part three that okay this one we are combining part three and part six and seven we're combining part three and part six at the end because what we're doing right now is they asked us to create a function for filter by country well what we did is what we do is we take it a step further so what we do is we filter by items so this means what we what we do later is we create it like filter by country, filter by style, filter by stars. And to make the program more efficient and reduce redundancy, what we do is we create one function, but it filters by all three at the same time. How? So we have filter by items. It chooses the filter by type, so basically whether you want it by country, style, or star, and then filter value. Like basically what you filter by. So you set all the filter list to empty. So basically filter variety, filter varieties, filter countries, filter style, filter stars. Then you loop through the varieties length. So basically what type of varieties are there for place, style, and star. Then if the filter type is country, then filter value equals countries I. And so basically inside the loop, update the conditional statement based on the filter type. And if the condition is true, append the elements at index i to the respective filter list. So basically, we get all the filter styles. For example, when we run, and then we go and do box, right? So we want all the box. We want... Oh, we get an error. Okay, so... Ignore that for now, we're still in the making. We will get solved later on. So, uh, styles is undefined. So, it might be an error, error with the name. So, what we have right here is we already have styles, and we can see that styles is undefined. When you have an error like this, we will see this a lot. That's why I made a video on this one instead of the harder one. So, this is basically with the data. What you do is you go into blocks. Okay, and next then you can delete this line. So then you go into variables, then you create a new one. Then you do var styles equals to get column ramen ray kings, and then you go to style. Reset, run. As you can see, the program is now fixed. So basically, what you do when you go into code is it basically specifically chooses it. So now, uh, with that data issue solved, let's go on to this. So filter by items, you filter by the type. So after you do this, you basically append to the item to all filter lists. So now you filtered it, which is good. 
Now with the filtering function done and explained, let's go on to part four. On part four. Okay, so step four, we have to create an average function. I think you guys did this in the past. It's fairly simple. What you do is you and state a variable sum, which is basically sum of all the variable lists. If you don't have the average function, what you basically add all uh, all values, all values in a list, and then divide it by the length of the list. That's basically the average of the list. So if you have, so if you have one, two, three, and four, you add. If you have one, if you have one, two, three, and four, you add four plus three, seven, nine, ten. 10 divided by 4, which is 2.5. So the average of the list is 2.5. So then, so we have a var variable sum, which is 0. And then you loop through the whole list. And you basically traverse through the whole list. And then you keep adding. And then you keep adding on. And then, and then basically what you do is you keep adding on each element of the list so you do sum equals sum plus list so i so as i increases you index to the list and then you keep adding so first element second element third and then the mean is basically the sum of the list length sum divided by list length and then you round to tenths mean and then you return the mean which is also the average round to tenths it's fairly simple it just it just does the math now with this done and the program we're looking good and running let's go on to let's go on to number five so if you have any questions if or if i'm going to pass you can slow down the video or put it in the comments i will be glad to help then go on to step number five step number five percent of total this is basically math functions so you create a variable named percent and then percent is basically the list dot length divided by the varieties length so the list given divided by the varieties so when we saw when we did the stars remember how it basically said that 96% of the list was one star rating that we can see right here. So variable percent, just the, just the local variable inside the function. So the percent is basically the list length divided by the varieties length. So the length of the current list we have after all, after the play style and stars divided by the total variety. So how much of the list is in the varieties? So let's say we have about five box five box uh, five box five stars taiwan and then out of the total varieties of box uh, there's only 10 varieties of boxes okay so there's 10 varieties so let's do this so there's only 10 varieties of box noodles or ramen and then what we do is that we have five from taiwan so that means 5 divided by 10, that means 0 0.5 or half of them are from are from Taiwan. So then you have 0 0.5 multiplied by 100, which is 50. And then simplify, make sure it's a whole number and then return the percent. So basically 0 0.5 turns to 50 and that's 50%. You return it back. So see guys, this is fairly simple. It's, you just have to understand it real quick. And then part 6. Right part six okay so write one to two functions that help reduce redundant chunks of code remember what i was saying redundant chunks of code basically we, we were supposed to have three functions one filter by country filter by style and filter by star but what did we do we combine them all into one function which takes in two arguments instead of one and then filters by the type or the country style star and then the filter value if you want to see the if you want to see the thing in function, let's see here. Filter by items. We filter by the country and the user choice. So the user choice could be, uh, let's go uh, Russia or Serbia. Five ramen varieties in Serbia. That's how the function works. I've already explained this in number two. You can rewind and watch this if you want. Then part seven. Part seven is fail in part six oh yeah part six check your three filter functions check the on event codes make sure everything is good write your own original function which we already did by filter by items so yeah now let's go on to the check for understanding okay i will give you guys five minutes to i'll give you you can guys can answer this in the comments so you have five seconds to do that
Okay, so the procedure below will be called twice with two numbers. Provided as arguments to the parameter of my number, which of the following pair of numbers will mystery will return the same value? So, what does it do? So, final right now is equal to zero. So, if the final number is greater than 100, you return 100. Or if the final number is less than zero, you return zero. Or else you just return the number. So, any value that is greater than 100, any value that is greater than 100, will return any not any value of my any value of my number which is greater than 100 will return 100 let's see if we have that over here then also we're looking for the same value so let's look at here right now we have 0 and 100 if we input 0 as my number that will mean that a it's not greater than 100 0 is not less than 0 so which makes it to final which which returns 0 then if you put in 100 same thing it returns 100 not the same thing then go to 0 and 10 when you put 0 as my number it will basically go zeros it's not greater than 100 then 0 is not less than 0 so you turn 0 and when you put 10 10 is not less than 0 and 10 is not greater than 100 then for 100 and 200 for 100 and 200 is basically our best bet right now because we can clearly see that a my number if it's greater than 100 it will be a hundred if my number is greater than 100 it will return 100 so that's the case for 200 but if it's not greater than 200 if it's not greater than 100 which is the other value 100 if you put 100 we basically return 100 because final equals to my number if you put 200 we get 100 again so that's my answer well that's lesson three Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, this is Connie with Gotham, and I'll see you in the next video.